and The Independent says anti-wind farm campaigners are jeopardizing plans for the sites to create more electricity. Uh, right, this, this big story that uh, we're carrying today about uh, the advice of a leading fertility expert who said to women in their 20s that they should freeze sections of their ovaries, and this is because uh, if, they, if they want to have children later in life. Uh, we've got Dr. Gemma Newman here, uh, Morning, who's Newman. a GP. Uh, Gemma, what do you make of this? Uh, I think it's quite an interesting development. Uh, women are born with obviously two million eggs, and then as you get older they degrade. And then obviously by the time you reach your teens, you've got about 400,000. You lose about 1,000 a month when, you, um, when you're ovulating, or they only ovulate one egg. Um, and so you can see that the female um, sort of time bomb is one of the main reasons for fertility problems I, in I women. I can understand the bit about freezing eggs. Yes. But this is actually talking about the ovary itself, sections of the ovary itself. What I does know. that entail? What does that mean? Well, when you freeze eggs, because they contain a lot of water, the normal slow freezing process actually causes damage to the egg. And what this uh, scientist is proposing is that if you freeze a section of your ovary in a fast freezing process known as vitrification, that piece of ovary will harvest about 600 or so 60,000 eggs. So you've got a lot more chances later in life to conceive if you want to. Well, this is amazing. This is like a, a car part chart. It's something that you can take out and replace it at a, at a later date. Although it does sound like quite an, a, you know, an intrusive procedure. I don't know how big a, a surgical operation it would be to do well, that. What he's saying is that it would actually be a day case procedure. So um, it wouldn't be particularly intrusive. He's, he's referred to it as a microsurgical approach. Um, I think the issue really is also why are we doing this? I mean, I think it is an exciting development, especially for women who have cancer, for example. Mm. Women who have to have radiotherapy or chemotherapy, which would then obviously, in some cases, destroy their chances of being a mum. Mm. And obviously now what we do for them is we, um, we store eggs only. And obviously with the de degradation process, then that's far from ideal. So unless they've already got a partner mm -hmm. and they can store some embryos, then yeah. They, they kind of lose but their I chance. suppose we could also see this in a situation, rightly or wrongly, where uh, a young woman of any age um, can say, right, I'm, I'm in my 20s, I'm in my teens, whatever, and I can have this done. And then, you know what, when I'm 40 or 35 or whatever it is, well, let's get it out of the fridge again and off yeah. we go. Exactly. I mean, it's quite frightening. You could think, you know, if this, if this becomes the norm, you could imagine teenagers getting bits of their ovary sliced off and then, mm. you know, waiting until they're 40 to have the child. It just doesn't seem quite right, does it? Mm. But yet, when you, when you use the cancer analogy, it does seem quite right. Right, exactly. I, I There's suppose. always two sides to the story. Yeah. Well, thanks for giving them to us, uh, Dr. Newman. Thank you very much. That's all right. You're welcome. Thank you. With just a few days before the American midterms, it could be make or break for President Obama. His Democrats are expected to suffer at the polls as voters express their anger about the U.S. economy. That's especially true in California, where Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger is leaving office with the state in financial crisis. Our correspondent Greg Milam now from California.